So the purpose of punctuation is to communicate organization, pace, and clarity of meaning and emotion to the reader. Therefore, it's not about rules for punctuation. It's about communication. After all, rules exist only to curtail or prevent things from going wrong. The no running around a swimming pool rule exists not because it's an, an inherent rule, but because of what it prevents, tripping and accidental drowning. Likewise, though not as life or death, punctuation rules exist to prevent miscommunication. For instance, the rule of separating sentences with end punctuation exists because doing so helps to communicate where one idea ends and another begins. Or take this set of sentences. Let's eat grandma. Or let's eat grandma. Which one is correct? If you say that the second is correct because it uses a comma, then I'd say you're only partially right. Ultimately, whether you use a comma or not depends on what you wish to communicate. If you intend on eating your grandmother, then the first option is correct. The shift that the comma communicates to the reader is not needed. The sentence is a simple, single, complete, and connected idea. However, if you are simply inviting grandma to eat with you, then the second option is correct. A comma would communicate a slight shift or break in the structure, thereby eliminating the possibility of eating grandma, which the first sentence suggests. Therefore, for the sake of clear communication, not to mention the lives of all the grandmas out there, we use commas when directly speaking to someone in order to communicate a break or a shift in the sentence structure. So if you truly wish to improve your writing, here is a perspective worth adopting. Punctuate for communication, not compliance. Once you adopt this view, your thinking will shift from, do I need a comma here? To what purpose would a comma serve here? Focus ultimately on the effect.